Hey everyone, this is Sandwedge and uh, I just really wanted to make an important analysis video. I've always been interested in what the Doom community thinks about the series, the franchise, and kind of its history, what the best and worst parts are. So naturally when I was cruising through the forums, I actually found this really cool forum thread, uh, which was made in the year 2000. And it says Doom 1 or Doom 2. And it has a poll question, which one is your favorite? And there's two answers here, Doom slash the ultimate Doom and Doom 2 Hell on Earth. And of course here, Doom 2 edges out Doom 1 and I can kind of understand that, you know, Doom 2 adds a lot of cool stuff. But of course Doom 2 needs Doom 1 to exist. And there was, there's about 58 pages of dialogue since the year 2000. So that's pretty cool, 22 years of dialogue. It's the year 2000 for Christ's sake! Yeah! Now, what I thought was really cool was that um, an eminent pillar of the Doom community recently actually updated the thread, gave some of his thoughts, and, you know, actually shed a lot of light on what was going on for the last 22 years. Now, I've redacted their name and profile picture because they did not agree to appear on this video, but uh, suffice it to say, uh, I will kind of tell you what they think and you can go to the thread and check if you want but uh, they seem to be an extremely intelligent individual i would put what they say in high regard so basically what they did is they actually read through all 22 years of discussion and really kind of distilled its essence into a post um, so i'm gonna read that for you now and honestly the, his findings might actually surprise you a little so he says it's amazing that after so many years, the community has finally come together to agree in total consensus that the best Doom game ever made is... Doom 3? Yeah. I mean... Wait, really? I mean, I don't believe him, but let's see his reasoning here. Don't bother looking at previous pages, I've pretty much summed the discourse up. Okay. Well, honestly, I didn't take him out of his word even though I probably should have and you know being such an eminent member of the community so I did do my due diligence and look through this whole thread and I will I will tell you what I think of his opinions after anyway he goes on I guess I'm a little surprised but I can see why pretty much a hundred percent of people believe that I mean it basically takes what made Doom 1 and 2 good and does it all extremely faithfully but with 3D graphics which are always superior to 2D graphics especially since Doom 1 and 2 are 2D games. Now I know what you're thinking. These are really obvious points. I mean everybody knows that 3D graphics are superior to 2D. I mean that's just progress right i mean that would be like saying i'd rather watch a silent movie instead of one with sound or black and white instead of color progress moves in one direction there's really no point in going back so this is a pretty uncontroversial point and i think that makes a pretty persuasive case as to why doom 3 is just going to be better uh, he also adds that doom 1 and 2 are 2d games now I know this sometimes is controversial, but it's honestly just a fact. Uh, at this point, we have dissected the engine over a couple decades. You know, we have the source code, we have source ports. John Carmack has talked about it. And it is simply a fact that Doom is a 2D game. There is no room over room. How can a game be three-dimensional if you can't walk on a floor that is also a ceiling? That just does not make any sense. Now think about it. That does not make sense. Uh, moreover, you can't look up and down. The gameplay basically is almost like a game of asteroids. You are turning left and right on a single plane and the auto aim makes it so you shoot up or down. I mean, I guess they added something to asteroids, which is cool, but it's basically that. I mean, in some ways it's kind of Pac-Man. Honestly, it's it's a little pathetic that a game in 1993 really hadn't progressed that much since the 2D games of the past. But they did a few tricks to make 2D seem kind of cooler and kind of trick people into thinking it was 3D. You know, one of the things that people argue is that, oh, it's not a 2D game. I mean, look at these hitboxes. They're three dimensional. These projectiles kind of go over you. How do you explain that in a 2D game? Well, again, we have the source 
code, we have source ports, and Carmack has commented on this, we know why it looks this way. And that's because Carmack is a genius and he actually figured out a way to make a 2D engine look 3D. I mean, it's really incredible. We know that Doom has a random number generator, right? So this is actually used to calculate whether that projectile will go over or hit the Doom guy. Uh, and this is totally random. So it only kind of looks like it's going over you, but everything is being done in two dimensions. And honestly, I can't explain how Carmack did this. This is one of the things that makes him a genius. Now, I understand how this was done. I've read up on it. It took me like five minutes to learn, but most people aren't going to be able to understand that. So that's okay. You're honestly just going to have to put faith in my opinion and the opinion of this anonymous Forbes poster, but you absolutely should because we know what we're talking about. Anyway, so we've solved this issue. So 3, be three game better than 2D. Uh, Doom 1 is a 2D game. Okay, we all, we all know this. There's a few contrarians out there who might disagree. Again, this is not this poster's opinion. This is the Doom World consensus. Uh, over 22 years of thought and discussion, debate, and argument. Uh, and as John Stuart Mill put it, he believed in a liberal society with a battle for ideas mentality where free debate would be encouraged and the best ideas would emerge after all the bad ones were taken out. And that's just what has occurred here. This is a microcosm for how to run a liberal democratic society. This thread was a battle of ideas for 22 years. And this poster has basically summed it all up in such a concise description uh, that I just had to make a video about it. There are some holdouts out there. And that's why I think I have to talk about one particular public figure in the Doom world. So this is going to be a quick public service announcement just to deal with some of the misinformation out there. This is Doom Kid. He says Doom's a 3D game. Doom Kid also calls himself a kid. But have you ever seen a kid who can grow a beard like this? I don't think so. Doom Kid isn't actually a kid at all. He's a Doom guy. And if Doom Kid's lying to you about that, what else is he lying about? That's right, everything. Don't believe Doom Kid's lies. They could kill you. A message from the Make Doom World Great Again Commission. Okay, now that we've gotten that important message out of the way, I can get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Now, where was I again? Oh right, Doom 3 is the best Doom game, right. So the second thing that I think really just puts the nail in the coffin for this argument, I mean, Doom 3 has the best shotgun in any Doom game. I know some of you might be saying, yeah, I mean, it's 3D, so that's gonna be better. But, you know, maybe you don't remember, the Doom 3 shotgun was actually one of the most realistic shotguns ever made in a first person shooter game and actually revolutionizes its use within the genre. If you don't know, if you've never used a shotgun in real life or you've just watched movies, you might not know that a shotgun only has an effective range of about three feet. Now, this might seem counterintuitive, but this is done in order to minimize any accidental discharges that hit somebody that you don't wanna shoot. So obviously in an intruder situation, say a burglary, you're going to have to roll up on somebody about two or three feet away. That's really the distance where you're going to be able to make sure that, uh, you know, who they are. Uh, are they someone you know? Are they your mother? Are they a grandparent? Uh, are they a child? Uh, these things, you're going to need to get that close with a gun in order to establish their identity. So a lot of these home defense weapons like shotguns were made with this understanding and, and Doom 3 really understands this by making it so you have to just run up to a demon and pretty much give them a hug in order to shoot them. You know, this was a big deal at the time and not only is it, I mean, there's one thing to talk about realism, Doom's not supposed to be a realistic game, but it's also one of the most fun 
uh, combat tools to use in a shooter ever made. It's not just the best shotgun in Doom, it's one of the best shotguns in gaming. Having to close with your opponent and run up and just practically shove the thing up their ass is the most fun you can have with Doom. I like to shove the shotgun up around him in my Doom. It's the most fun you can possibly have. Now let's go back to the Doom 2 Super Shotgun, which this poster mentions. Now we won't mention the Doom 1 Pump Shotgun. That thing is terrible and everybody has known that for a long time. But the Doom 2 Super Shotgun, like there's so much wrong with this, like honestly. You pick this up way too early in the second level, and not only does it not make any sense, but it's just way too powerful. I mean, you're basically just, you know, mowing down huge groups of enemies, and there's no balance, there's no pacing. I mean, look at this scene where you round a corner here, and you can just take all these guys out in one hit. I mean, what's the point? You don't have to run up to every single one like three feet away and shoot it. It just mows them all down, and I don't see how that's fun. That's not game design if you just hold down a button and everything dies. That's a cheat code. And by the way, what's with this design? I mean, it's a break action, double barrel, sawed off shotgun that you might find in your grandpa's garage or something. I mean, is this what farmers use to put down their cattle? Is Doom Guy really using this to go up against demons? I mean, now take a look at the Doom 3 shotgun. Obviously it's three dimensional, but it's cool. It's high tech. It's like shiny. That's awesome. I'd rather shoot demons with this thing. I mean, it makes more sense rather than this piece of crap. I mean, it sounds like crap. It looks like crap. And there's this brown pixel here that shouldn't even be there. Usually what I like to do is play Doom 2 with the super shotgun patched out. There's some cool mods that you can find in the description below to make Doom 2 better. And one of them just takes the super shotgun out. I've actually enjoyed that a lot. There's also a mod that you can actually take the regular pump action shotgun out as well. I would recommend removing both of them to have the best Doom experience. The other thing about the Doom 2 Super Shotgun is that you could shoot guys from way too far away. I mean, there is a huge spread, but just look at it. It's way too big. Even though it does spread out, it still hurts guys when you're shooting them like 10, 20 feet away. I mean, again, like real life, the shotgun should be basically harmless past like five feet. I mean, that's when the pellets spread out enough and the pellets lose enough energy that you might as well just shoot your mom with a shotgun like five feet away and it'll be fine. That's the whole point. That's the best way to make a home defense weapon, which is the only thing that shotguns are used for. So yeah. I mean, all in all, the Doom 2 Super Shotgun is pretty lame, and I mean, honestly, a lot of people know this, and thankfully, Doom World has sort of learned to understand this after 22 years. I mean, maybe early on, this was a controversial idea, and, you know, I didn't realize that this was a consensus opinion. Now that I have synthesized all of the information in this thread, this is kind of the reasoning that Doom World has used to come up with their conclusion. So yeah. In conclusion, Doom 3 is the best Doom game ever released. Now, I was talking about Doom 1 and Doom 2. I didn't mention new Doom games. Honestly, again, those just got away from what made Doom 3 the best Doom game. I mean, they're too fast, they're too frenetic. The shotgun again tries to go back to that Doom 1, Doom 2 thing, and I think really suffers for it. So I'm not even gonna bring that up, and it doesn't even come up in this thread for 22 years so like there's no point in talking about it so anyway i hope you found this really enlightening i mean this basically sums up the consensus opinion on really what is the doom social website of record this is what will actually go into the encyclopedias uh, this is what will go into the archives so let me in know in the comments what you think uh not if you disagree because like has been pointed out in this video it, everything I said was completely objective. You know, the fact that say Doom is a 2D game, that is a solved question. We have the code, we've talked to John Carmack, we know all of this stuff. So there's nothing to criticize there, but I certainly will take praise in the comments um, and just let me know like how much this helped you, how much this changed your mind on Doom, you know, how stupid you were for not realizing that Doom 3 is the best you know, how much of an idiot you were for 
enjoying the super shotgun, one of the worst shotguns in a video game ever. Uh, just let me know that kind of stuff. And, and of course, before you leave, uh, you have to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends and family. I don't care if they play Doom or not. We have to jack up this channel's metrics uh, for sure because this is kind of a this is kind of a message that needs to get out there to all the doomers who don't know any better. So yeah, uh, do all that stuff. Give me a great comment. I do have an OnlyFans that you can contribute to. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm not gonna met, I'm not gonna explain what's on there. Um, you're gonna have to pay for a subscription to find out what I'm posting on OnlyFans, but you're gonna like it. Uh, let's just say if you're into cyber demons, you're probably gonna like what you see. So do everything I told you, and you're welcome for all the information that I've imparted here. And uh, I'll see you again soon for uh, any more Doom revelations that I find on the forums. Thanks.